personal space. Focus on your breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. I want you to take the relaxation you now have on the top of your head. Take it all the way down, 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 throughout the whole of your body. Feeling good as it relaxation goes down, down, right down to the soles of your feet, all up through your neck, into your skull, over your skull, and down into your forehead. Let that relaxation relax all the large and small muscles around your eyes and just to make sure that you're feeling relaxed just press your eyelids together squeeze them tight just for a moment pretend you can't open them pretend you can't open them just for a moment just allow them after a few seconds to open you would like allow your eyelids then to close all the way down all the way down if you more and more relaxed every breath that you take makes you even more relaxed breathing in and breathing out and let that relaxation go down into your chin making your chin and all the muscles around your chin relax. And if your teeth are clenched, just uncle unclench your teeth. And any sounds you may hear make you even more relaxed. Let those sounds around you, the ticking of a clock, perhaps a car, allow it to make you even further relaxed. Now at this moment, I want you to imagine we're you're going to go on a journey. Now on this journey, it's a special journey. A journey that anybody can go on at any time. This journey is a balloon ride. Now not many of us have been on a balloon ride. But you can imagine a balloon. And a basket. And the... And firing up the hot air. And at this moment, you can perhaps feel yourself clambering into the basket. And perhaps you may like to take a, a favoured friend or companion with you to join me in this journey. Now, principally, this is to help you get over any forms of negative thinking. There is so much negative thought in the world at the moment. So many issues. But this will help you get over all the negativity that you're perhaps being subjected to from all directions everywhere you go. So imagine now you've clambered into the basket and the fire is firing up the hot air in the balloon. The ropes are securely are securing your basket to this balloon and suddenly the people around the basket allow it to release itself from, from the earth and up you go. Up you go into the earth's atmosphere. And as you look over, you can see the earth is slowly drifting away. It's becoming further and further away. And the people on the ground become like small figures, smaller and smaller. But you have control over this balloon. It's within your control. And you, at this moment, control the fire. You give a bit more hot air into the balloon, giving it more traction, giving it more strength, sending it higher and higher. Now realize you are absolutely safe. And as you go further and further up, the earth seems to become more and more 
a vista, something you can look down on. Down on the earth, there are people living lives with hopes and dreams and worries. But you don't have to take part in any of that. You're safe and secure in this balloon. Perhaps you're drifting up towards clouds now. And you feel the clouds engulf the balloon, but they have no effect. They're just a bit moist and make you feel stronger in some way. They refresh you. And all the while, you can still see the earth. You can still see whole plots of land, cities, towns, roads, greens, green fields, and oceans. It could be something like a Google map or Google Earth, but you're just floating around. And at this time, you suddenly realize that how small we all really are compared to the universe. Perhaps you realize the world is still a very, very small item in the whole of the universe. Planet Earth is just a tiny little spot revolving round a hot sun which gives it life and energy. And perhaps you can realize as well that this is the miracle of your life, how you are able to take part in this energy, in this wonderful medium of the Earth and the sun. gravity and air. And you realize that as an animal you've conquered gravity. You've conquered the inability to fly. Birds can fly, but their environment dictates to them what they can or cannot do. You as an animal have overcome that. You as an animal have managed to move up and be part of something. You're not chained to your environment like your ancestors were. You can look down and see the earth for what it is. A magnificent globe, a ball of ocean, light, energy, all this while you've been worried about things whilst you've been on the ground. But you don't have to worry anymore about those. Up there, high above, where is your fear then? Why have any fears? Why have any worries? Nothing and nobody can get you up there. You can just sail along through the clouds and pretend that this can go on forever. And even if it cannot go on forever, your own powerful imagination can carry you to this space and time. Your own imagination that you always have, will always have, no matter what's going on around you, no matter how hard the world is, and troublesome the world is, this powerful, wonderful imagination that you as a human animal can delve into uniquely amongst all animals at any time. So as we're traveling along, perhaps the earth, perhaps the day is starting to fade. And perhaps now you can see another celestial object, the moon, appearing. The moon is round, another miracle around satellites of the Earth. But it has a powerful influence on you. It controls the tides on the Earth. It also has a magnetic role to play in your feelings and your emotions. And realize that this is the only satellite that is actually orbiting the Earth. The 
and realise there can be many other Earths, and probably are around the universe, which have moons revolving around them. And you realise at this point, the Sun, the Earth, the Moon, the universe, the galaxy, how small and infinitesimal human life is compared to how enormous the universe is. But you're wrapped up in your worries and your problems on the planet Earth. One day, perhaps your children's children children won't have to be earthbound. They'll be able to travel around, perhaps from one part of the galaxy to another. And perhaps it'll be from one dimension to another. Who knows? how we'll progress as a species. But for now, you're in a very ancient form of traverse, a very ancient form of, of transport, the hot air balloon. And all those years ago, the Moncofio brothers invented this wonderful means of transport. And to them, it was high state technology of art. It was the most incredible thing, and it is a most incredible thing. But you can enjoy this experience, because hot air will rise. So stoking the flame even further, you now feel that actually you can now slowly but surely drift down and slowly drift down and as you start drifting down the more relaxed you're starting to feel because in this magical balloon ride this magical journey you're slowly but surely coming to the end and back down to the planet earth and slowly but surely you can see the earth starting to rise up and getting nearer and nearer and the people that sent you off are starting to become more distinguishable. But you're not worried anymore because since you've been on this magical balloon ride, you've let go of so many emotions and negative thinking, negative thoughts. Somehow you realize that the future is bright, that you can mold your future and that nothing and nobody can deflect you and nothing and nobody can subvert you or undermine you. You are your own person. And though many people will tell you what you should believe and how you should be, you are who you are. You form your own opinions, your own judgments, your own truths. <coughs> and that in itself makes you a unique and special being in the universe for, as you well know, you can, there can never be another version of you in the whole of the universe. There will never be another person like yourself. You have this chance to live your life, to get the best out of it. And this is your opportunity, because as the saying says, you get the one chance, you don't get another one to be yourself, to realize your potential, to realize your dreams, to be focused, determined, to find love, to enjoy relationships, to have achievements, <coughs> to have joy, to experience the full and wonderful journey that we call life. So bump, down you've come down, back to earth, and your friends and your family have run towards you to put the guy ropes, to whack them down into the earth, to pull you slowly down, safe and sound, and you've enjoyed your, your balloon ride. But now when you see your friends and family, there's a new and wonderful vigor about you and your life. Never again do you have any self-doubt, 
never again will you feel the need to be second best of any kind. You are unique. You are individual. You are special. Of course, your life matters. So in a moment, I'm going to count up from three. And at the count of three, I want you to be fully awake, eyes wide open, feeling alert, refreshed and relaxed. Get ready now. One, eyes waking, waking up slowly. Two, your eyes are now open. You feel as though a wonderful mountain stream is flowing through you. You feel refreshed, you feel energized, you feel relaxed, you feel ready to take on the planet and anything that throws, that life throws at you. And three, eyes awake, eyes are open, wide awake, ready to enjoy your life as you deserve to, as is your destiny. Thank you for listening. And if you want to take part in any more of these recordings, I wish you to log on to Moving On TV, Master Not Well, Hypnotherapy. I'm open to take your calls for anything that may be troubling you, whether it be phobias, whether it be depression, anxiety, to stop smoking, weight loss. The power of the subconscious mind is infinite and we all have access to it. We just have to let it in and become part of its healing power. Thank you.